that should be made, uh, or how they can have hope for the future, or how they come to know, how they should act. You know, so here you have both Western Chinese philosophers work together. I have been devoted to Chinese philosophy and Western philosophy for 50 years. I, I think I'm still in the University of Hawaii, the longest teaching professor, uh, because I teach two courses. Every semester, one course in contemporary Chinese, contemporary Western philosophy to do with analytic, analytic philosophy, and the other hand, classical Chinese philosophy. So here, I'm here. Okay, I want to have to thank you, you so please, for my friend, uh, friend Tom, I know him 25 years. Uh, he has been uh, working on this West Com uh, uh, new uh, metaphor or uh, communication. He invited me 25 years ago, went to Singapore, and I had to review some of his, uh, the, the books which he was proposed. So I'm really amazed that he has continued. Is a center for change for East West Center. I mean, we have an East West Center, but I think that's the represent the Western approach. You know, it's involved in politics, economics, population studies, but East East West Center is involved in this cultural change, cultural understanding, and he's very much dedicated. So I really appreciate his effort. Okay, come back to my topic. Because we have to see our time. I don't have much time. Because <laughs> I, I, I have the last one. Last one we can have more time. Yeah. So we can have less, less time. Uh, so I try to be short. Anyway, um, and also that has a convenience. I can control my UC about I can go up, probably go up. This is go up. Go up. Okay. Okay, uh, here, you can see by scene. We, we can talk about three things which I'd like to, you know, just uh, <laughs> to make a game about it. That is a board game, ecology, economy, and ethics. Now, this is our main consideration of change philosophy, also the main word. I call it 3E, the E philosophy. Yeah, even because um, Chinese has much to say. Because ecology represents heaven, economy represents earth, and ethics represents the man. So that's why we talk about the, the trinity, the trinity of humanity, of heaven, earth, and man. And that's what we are. But of course, today we have problems. We have crisis. You have crisis in ecology, you already described it. Also, in current law, there's crisis in ecology, very much so. But not to go into details. And also, even more seriously, we have a crisis in ethics. How people can say they know what we should do is comfortable, you know, the cause to say. How do we make sure that you do good things rather than bad things? Or whether you intend to be good is really good. Do you know? So how do we come to know? So these are fundamental issues. Besides, all these things are contributed by each other. Ecology need to break down of ecology and possibly ethics. But you can see on the other way around. Ethics can need to break down of ecology, 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 and economics. Maybe starting with a small circle, but eventually the whole nation, the whole world, in fact, because considering long tradition and the long part the workforce of humanity. Or you know, you know, after the hundred question set of in, and then you have the um, five hundred years maybe you know industrialization. We talk about the first generation of industrialization. How much corruption, how much contribution has it made to this earth? I don't know. You require people to find out the cause. Now from the high level scheme, you know, people like uh Tungsu already said wrong policy make a change into the ecology, to the environment. People are responsible for what happened in the world that is also for the environment. Okay, so here, I have no, no doubt that Chinese philosophy, we know it, provide a solution for these problems. And this, of 
because it's a reason about to be based on how we perceive and the inner unity of other human beings to be humanity in the world. And precisely, even scientists are talking about it. And this is where our culture comes in, and more conviction about value change. Also. Yes, the trouble is that people have still uh, not come to this basic perception. People talk about uh, Western philosophy as a model. Uh, I see philosophy is just another model. The major issue. The Chinese philosophy is also an important model. Aside that, I even see Chinese philosophy as a primary model. I think maybe in a sense more, uh, more, more valuable model. So how do I say that? But first of all, I can Chinese tradition. Okay. So first, my advice to see this world. Because you say perceive. I would say yes, perceive. Then you can see. Perceive, the, the main ways you can perceive the world, you know, you can perceive small things. The Chinese way of perceive, perceiving is not. I just care. Long term perception. I call it comprehensive observation. See all. So if we look at this world for a long time, you learn. You learn what this world is. You just how you be actually evolve because we develop a culture by by experimenting, by interacting with nature, by enlarging our you know, understanding. And then eventually we try to practice what we learn and we improve our ways of act, acting. But sometimes we get progressive, sometimes we get regressive. Anyway. So for the Chinese understanding, there's many things which we will not perceive, which requires thinking. And that is how deep reflection is important. So you have C O means comprehensive observation. D T means deep thinking. So we have this are the fundamental experience or methodology for human life. Okay, so uh, you know, of course, you can talk about extra entities in modern logic, but they still can be, be part of our life because there are many mediations. We construct many systems. How mathematically, you know, can be related, or physiologically related. Like mathematics is related to our, you know, physics, and our physics is related to our biology. Biology is related to our moral life. Okay, here, uh, I was worried about this problem of, problem of the world. Like, uh, there's somebody who is more, 104 years old, and you want to die uh, in a peaceful way. I feel bad about that because, you know, you know, an old man, you know, very getting old, and lost his interesting world. I might believe, according to the Chinese, multiple. You know, the older you get, the more vigorous you should become. Of course, that's a requirement of more able to absorb, to you know, care for people. But then how do you want to die? Okay, people now talk about the upper You know, how do we beat the upper world? And we can create a super intelligence. But how do we control it? Can we control it? So those are problems, and this of course we talk about the global, you know, um, globalization. But there's an anti-globalization, and here we have all this problem. And we have the exclusion, the nuclear war problem, we have the climate, climate change, change, we have the also problem from the uh, internet, you know. And I talk about something, I said I propose that we should have a, a uh, the internet of trust, of mutual trust. But how do we make that possible? Uh, so here, these are the fundamental issues that we put out. So here, so we need a reconsideration of this situation. And I think the trouble is, against with the West is because uh, when after after the Renaissance and the Reformation and uh, you know. 
as an animal, which I can, which has released so much energy. Now, this is good, but this is also a Pandora hot box. Finish of this comes out so green. So you have all this uh, strong energy come out without restraint, without moderation, without even time to think about this as human beings. So you lost this, uh, this, this uh, original creating wisdom of the Tao or the, the, um, the original creator, the creativity I call it. You know, you, 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 you produce, you don't have to be possessive. You grow without combination. You make this happen. But you don't try to, you know, always control it. Uh, and you succeed. You don't always claim your credits. That's the first you know, uh, wisdom which you read from Tao Te uh, So this is something very important. I have had more time because people use more time. So I have an equal right to have more time. So don't remind me the time. I remind, remind myself. So that's the power of self-control. Okay? So, so, so this is a, because we have to have a world of you know, freedom, but also an equal freedom. Equality we share with the West. So we should just say, you know, everybody should just be free just become everybody. Okay, here's where you go. So, so this is the problem. So that's why I think about we have the time to talk about you know John Rawls and John, you know, Sando and all this other things. But the point is that this power of marketing, of invention, of Western industrialization give rise to a human ego, a human life, which is an endless So that's how we have Nietzsche's transvaluation. Nietzsche, you know, because it's a Western philosophy, why did he talk about the world of power? Because he sees the West in the 19th century, right out of Africa, such a power, a, 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 a drive of power. Every nation state in the 19th century competed. That's the whole thing. So to lay the foundation for who served two world wars, who made the war. That's because West. And the enemy is a power. So this is right. And then, of course, Nietzsche, we want to have a dream to free from the Christian tradition, but also to have the personal freedom to grow, to have a free competition. That we may also have a problem. And I just want to say this idea of transvaluation. Values is very important, you know, awakening how civilization should be re-examined, how we should choose the right way of behavior. Okay, so I don't have this description. I think you can read it, and read it. Uh, there are many of my papers, so, so you don't have to uh, read it for sure, but you hear, uh, I think we'll have a train which will uh, replace ourselves with my chains. So uh, we really can help in the uh, in, the, in, the, in the track, uh, how do we uh, create a machine and yet become the master of the machine? I'm just posing the question. Uh, now, uh, so here I want to see the Chinese philosophy as an important alternative. The Chinese philosophy begins with understanding the values of the cosmic rules of creativity. And that's how you get it. Well, now look at the same context. People only know, uh, of course, Western Bible, or now people talk about Indian tradition. Well, I teach also, you know, uh, Buddhism is philosophy. But don't forget, Chinese philosophy has a very important message to do. That is to say, the, 
There's a creativity of this universe, which makes this world orderly, harmonious, and creative. And yet, it's not a perfect world. And yet, it produces human beings. So, why human beings are producing is because human beings have a mission to accomplish, to complete, maybe to perfect, to refine what the cosmos has given to us. But Confucius and the Shunishi say, heaven, earth, give rise, give birth to man. So, it is for man to glorify this Tao of the creativity. We call the, this uh, cosmos. So how we can come to have awareness of that, and that's how you see in the, uh, in the, in the commentaries of the Yijin. So the great man always try to develop his virtue in compliance with heaven and earth. So he can have the brightness of the heaven and earth, of the moon. He has the order of the positions. And he has the sense of value and changes like gods and ghosts. So he has to come to have that deep understanding so that he can know the work and do the right thing in time. Okay. So this is the main part we have to see. So, uh, so my, my point is here, therefore, is to say, this requires man to do something to himself. Now here, this is where the something which I find Western science today has something useful for confirming Chinese philosophy. And that's very important because I see the importance of this meeting is that the Western has to come to know more about Chinese and Chinese, of course, come to know more about the West. So this is, I think, the essential important message of this conference. Otherwise, well, we should not just go to it. So here, I talk about the importance of comprehensive observation and deep cleaning. The deep cleaning, the deep understanding is how do you understand this I reflect myself. What I'm losing is what I've been awakened by the beautiful scenes, by good sounds. So I become aware of my own innate power, which is the sources of virtue. This power, and I become aware, can do good to the world. That power can be, become virtue. And that is where I come from environment of understanding of observation. So I just want to say this. Now, uh, so let me talk about this, uh, you know, here, uh, because we have to talk about the cosmic creativity, and we come, then we come to have this uh, feeling of richness, of uh, creativity, of happiness. So these are the fundamental things. Now, this is precisely what Yi Jing has given rise to. Taoism and Confucianism. I think every man should know how Chinese philosophy is rich with this vitality of a wise man to follow the Tao of the universe, of the universe of creativity. To realize that there's a trinity of ecology, economics, and ethics, also a trinity of eating cosmology, and the ethics of Confucianism and uh, the natural philosophy of Tao. So this is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so here I will talk about education and uh, leadership. I'm going to mention, you see here, how the men and women are when in Zhong Yong, talking about the doctrine of the name. What is happening given to us, given to me, called my nature. I follow my nature. In a deep sense, become the Tao. So we have a natural inner concordance between the outer and the inner. And then we can cultivate this Tao become education. But because there's no 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 meaning if I don't finish my, my talk, okay? So the great learning, so the great learning is 
Eu levei diferente disso. De what do I want you to tell me? To reach for the goal, okay? So, so this I don't want to say it all. But one thing, one thing which I think is very important. Here is the spirit which I uh, talk about. Uh, the spirit of Hui, that's very important. Hui is not just Tian Hui. Hui is also what can be arrived as unity from the fundamental thesis of heaven and earth. So here we talk about Hui Wai Hui, the unity of heaven, inner and outer, to Ke Hui, outer and center in unity. Now we talk about famous action and knowledge in unity. Yeah, individual and society in unity. Now this is what I think. Uh, so in, in this way, we have all this fundamental development, and this transition to war, and the Chen Daijue, and the Chen Tai Liji, and the Shen Chen Liji, and we can relieve our activity and develop a better human being, you know, overcome some of the problems of Heidegger, and we can uh, have a new business model. I think that's what Fred is trying to do. And we have a more social capital to develop good things, to develop more better forms of life. We call it cultural or ecological culture to conform to the original and developing creativity of heaven and earth. So this, this, this transformation, this development, which is People may call it evolution. As I talk to Fred, I also call it creative transformation. Because you can change yourself, but you have to educate people to change. Because this change takes many, many years to become part of your evolutionary uh, changes. So I think this transformation, evolution, has a fundamental you see, uh, relationship. But yet we still have to control ourselves so that we can reach out. So I don't want to go through these fundamental philosophical principles uh, to make harmonious change possible. And uh, C, the C theory, and uh, I call it quotient of creativity. Of course, I don't have time to, to explain to you this fundamental concept which people have used around me, uh, which I call the quotient of creativity. It's a mini question, because the question of intelligence, the question of emotional things. So I want to say here, our way of life should be continuous contemplation. We should have the open minds to see the world, to interact with people, to care for people, to interact with the world, to care for people. So, so in conclusion, so we reach the question, what is the the timely meaning for this time, based upon our you know, use of this principle of terrible Now, the principle is that we can see we as human beings is capable of relating to each other as we are cosmological related, so that we can then more devoted our energy to constructive works for our gen for generations of our posterity, for making this world as we are. So this is how I say. Now, concretely, I mentioned the five, the, five, the, the six fields for realization through our cultivation, because there we have many ways of cultivation, including Chinese, Indian Buddhism, and that is the cultivation, uh, the ethics of life, the self-realization, the uh, development of super intelligence with control, and also the continuous and uh, sustainable development of economy. So in conclusion, my message is simple to this. Uh, you know, we should have science. We should explore knowledge, as two people would say. But yet, we should use sciences to develop ourselves so we can create a better more more science is more developed on my own yourself. So I can be louder, I can be happy, and we can be all together harmoniously. Thank you.